And one there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Uh, welcome back, uh, QMC. First day here, and uh, out of field five, we've got uh, Neville Johnson here joining you for this under 14 jewels clash here between Eileen, Eileen Novas, and also uh, Murray United. Uh, we're waiting on Uncle Dusty to come and join us here, real quick. Um, he's been making his way over from the come over from the um, eldest tent, I think. There, um, <laughs> you come over from the eldest tent there. Um, All right, Uncle Dusty, he's on his way. He's going to join us here for this uh, for this uh, 11 o'clock clash here on the first day of uh, Junior Murray Carnival here. Um, a number of... Uh, yeah, a few... The Eileen Novas uh, from out west um, and also the Murray United side from all over the place. So I'm um, really looking forward to this clash here. Second game of the under-14s uh, girls took place here. And Uncle, good morning, Uncle. How are you? Welcome to the box, the commentary box out here. A bit of a long walk for you there, Uncle. Yeah, especially when you've got a game, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the commentary. Good to have you here. <coughs> so we've got the... Uh, yeah, two deadly teams here. Um, Eileen um, Novas, um, the mob from out, out west predominantly. Um, Villa Wheeler and those sort of areas. Um, and the Murray United uh, had a yarn with their coach. And they're, they're, they're from all over the place. Um, as well, Murray United from up. A few girls up in the Torres Strait. A few girls from Townsville, Cairns, and also a couple of Sherbert girls in there as well. Um, a couple of girls from Gladstone as well. So they're oh, a yeah. good mix there, the Murray United, hence the name. Yeah, Murray just United. looking at some of the names there, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, uh, under 14s. And, uh, of course, um, at the end of the week, they'll be picking representative sides in under 14s. Yeah, deadly, deadly. So uh, there's lots of lots up for grabs and... Uh, you know, a good opportunity to play in such a competition like this one here where they can maybe get some pathways through to the to the uh, bigger competitions. As we see, speaking of pathways, and she's through here, uh, number 18, it's Harper Moore. Uh, she's going to bring it around under the sticks there. Yeah, great individual try. She's got a bit of pace. Yeah, Harper, we've um, got a couple of players here which um, have been highlighted for us as players to watch um, in this Murray United side. And... Certainly number 18 was one that was penciled in there. To keep an eye out for uh, the, the young, flashy Harper Moore. They uh, say she's a bit of a fullback sort of centre. Uh, only lightly built, but, gee, she's yeah, she got slipped through that gap pretty uh, quickly, the Uncle. Gap. Yeah, well done. So what's that, 4-0? Yeah, it's a Murray United opening the score here. Pretty much the first set of, first set of attacking footy in young Harper. Uh, young Harper Moore slid through there. Beat a couple on the way to the line there to score a wonderful opening try for Murray United. Kick from right in front here as uh, Mears lines it up. Destiny Mears. Confirms that one there and uh, an early lead here to, to the Murray United side. I was having a yarn with their coach um, and their manager prior to the game there, Uncle, and um, he said that good mix from, from all over the place. A um, couple of Torres Strait girls in there, a uh, couple of girls from Cairns and Townsville. Um, there's a Sher couple of Sherberg girls in there as well, so... That's why they've decided to go under the banner of Murray United. Oh, Too deadly yeah. with the red, black and yellow. Can't go wrong, eh, Uncle? That's it, brother. <laughs> and they'll be connected in some way there. Yeah, I'd that's say. it. That's it. Co-commentator, a bit of a yarn with uh, Nathan Blacklock here earlier on, and he said that's one of the key parts as we s see this kickoff happening here for, uh, for Eileen Novas. But he said that's one of the key parts. The girls get a chance to meet each other, other girls from all over the state, and never know they might go on to be lifelong friends but they can say they participate at the murray carnival together that's right fantastic oh oh a return of possession here oh oh no ref referee in there bit of a bit of a knock on there he spotted there the ref looked like the uh novas have got the ball back but uh oh, oh. Knock on. yeah very unlucky i seem to have uh a long back line going here now, the, uh, <laughs> the Murray's United. Big, deep back line here. But they go short here to the front rower. Number 21 here. Um, Monet. Takes the ball, plays at centre field. The halfback working on this right-hand side here to another edge forward here. Big run here. 10, 15 metres. She's carrying them. She's carrying them up the field here. Number 10 there, Grace Webb. Another one to watch out for. Young Grace Webb. Deadly run there. That was a good run. The young halfback here, Tasma McQuarrie. Uh, she's also one that they penciled in to watch as well. A recent representative uh, at this level. 
We're going back here to, to number 21 again, Monet. Monet plays the ball about 10 metres out. They come left. Taking a ruck up here is the, the back rower. The number 12, Wurrahanna. Little grubber through there, Uncle, but a bit of a knock on there, the referee spotted. Oh, they just got no luck at all. <laughs> the uh, neighbour side, and of course they'll have to hand it over to a player to play the ball again. Yeah, slight little knock on there. They're under plenty of pressure here. Early is the Eileen Nova side. Thanks, brother. Right. Go to the forward here. Mog, it's, a, uh, it's uh, Alyssa Mog here, close to the line. Gets pushed back, though. Bit of a mousetrap play there for Monet, and Monet dives over. The old mousetrap come out there, Uncle. So you've got the pace, the step, and the size. Ah, oh, what an effort there. Second try to the Murray United side, and they take a lead here. Ten points to nil early in this game, and a little bit of a mousetrap play there, close to the line. The number 15 darted off left and then came through the big second rower there. And she put a step on. Very hard to stop close to the line there, Uncle. The, the big forward hitting the yeah. hitting the line like that. You got, can't go low because they'll run over you. You try, can't go high because they might bump you off. And Wonderful, wonderful, smart, smart play close to the line there. They look to be a pretty well-drilled side, this... Uh, yeah, they this do. Murray United side, despite being from all over the the, the, the state. Yeah, they got they got a bit of a structure going. So they yep. and the uh, neighbours. I don't think they had the ball yet, have they? No, nah, they haven't had, had they haven't had the ball. That was their only ball ball touch that they had was that knock on there. So they want to regroup and just get back together there. At least they're trotting back up. That's the main thing. Yep, that's it. They are having a go. They shoot away to um, 16 points to nil here, Murray United. And it's under 14 clash here out on field five, of course, if you're listening in or watching in on the app. And catch these two sides here. I, I, Eileen uh, Nova's in the sort of Bulldogs colours, Uncle. Yep, um, I like the Bulldogs. Please, you'll have to bear with us. Those numbers were blending in there, but we'll do our best. And, of course, the Murray United side in the red, black and yellow with a little bit of grey thrown in there. Big Grace Webb takes the run up there. Wonderful run. Makes 10 metres. Gets it up to around about the 40 out from her own line. They go left out to the head guard player out here. Gets it onto the winger. Uh, sorry, the centre, but she's taken over. Young Ruby Hughes there taking over the sideline. Right cover the fence there from the 5'8". Uh, Amelia Stanley. Wonderful effort there from the 5'8". Uh, the cover defence coming across. They chance their arm early there. Not afraid to have a go, which is good. Yep. Oh, I'll bring that back for a... <laughs> I was just about to say, don't tell me we're <laughs> going to lose the ball again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like a front row uh, interchange forward here. We haven't got the name on the list here, but uh, we'll endeavour to get that name for you. But uh, strong run here, plays the ball. Number 23 on the, uh, the halfway line. Ah, but more, she's strong for size, isn't she? <laughs> she's up there in the fence, the two yep, tackles yep, in yep. a row. Having a go, definitely. Ball played there by the lock forward, uh, Paget. Not going anywhere here, the Novas at the moment. They're, they're sort of getting pushed back. They'll play the ball third tackle on the halfway line. And they go left here. So the halfback has a run here. The young Parsons. Unable to make too many metres there. A little bit disorganised this set here from the Novas. That's a better run. Tucking it under. That's a good 10 meter run there from looks like the center. Oh, unfortunately, a little knock on there. Dummy half. A little bobble. How has your weekend been, Uncle? Plenty of things happening. How did you enjoy the men's and women's comp uh, on the weekend? Oh, yeah, good football. Mm. Good footy all around. And, yeah, mate, uh, yeah, and the, then the juniors yesterday, it was a big day here. Yep, yep. Fantastic couple of days for the uh, junior Murray Carnival. 
And, uh, you know, and just polish it off with all these people here. Have a look at that, brother. Oh, they've just rolled in. We were here early, and, um, you know, they've, they've, as the teams have sort of come in, the families are coming in, they're getting settled, finding out where they're going to sit, get, trying to get the shade, trying to keep them elders out of the out of the shade there. A shout-out to all of those elders there viewing. There's a elders area set aside for them mob there to have their cup of tea and out of the out of the direct sun, and then they can go out and watch the, the young ones play. As we see Mornay now, the try scorer, one of the try scorers from Murray United with a fantastic run, making 10 metres. She's still going. Wonderful run there from uh, 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 from Alina Mornay. Oh, and we got the first again. try scorer, the 18. She's slicing through again. It's Moore, Harper Moore with another run. She's having a fantastic run. Oh, she's Harper having a Moore. ripper of a game. Five metres out, the halfback. She spots something down the left-hand side, gets it onto the fullback. And it's Mears. It's Destiny. Destiny Mears over there. But she's uh, also the kicker, I'd say. Yeah, she's heavily involved. So they just threw the ball wide there, and there's too many gaps out wide for them. Yeah, wonderful, yeah. wonderful work there from Tasma McQuire. Mac, uh, McQuire. She spotted uh, a bit of an overlap, bit of fragment defensive line out here on the right hand side for the Novas. Chimed in well there. Plenty of numbers there, the Murray United side, and, and they go up to uh, 20 points a nil. Score line here, well in control. The Murray, the, the the Murray United side. Novas just couldn't couldn't react, couldn't recover after that big no, run there from Mornay. Yeah. Sucked a lot of those defenders across. The centre went across, uh, following the five eight, and then they they were a little bit uh, short for numbers over this side here. It took them about ten minutes before they touched the ball, then they made another mistake. They just going back to them, and as soon as they gave back, they scored again. Yep. They got a. Get their forwards going forward and uh, try and line it up with swing out wide with the uh, backs and hold the ball is the main thing for them. Yeah. The Eileen Novas. Keep an eye out for, for, for that one. Um, that try scorer and the, the 18 already having a, um, a big effect on this one here with slicing runs through the middle. There's not much of her, but she, she doesn't mind getting in there having a go. She's pretty strong even in defence. Mm. So uh, I'll say we'll see more of her in this half. The Nova's an opportunity now just to settle, just get a good, 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 good defensive set underway, get into the game, hold on to, hopefully hold on to the ball, get get a couple of sets under your belt, you know. Yeah, they need to stop the go forward from the, uh, the Murray United team, the uh, Eileen Nova's. There's some. Uh, the girls with a bit of size, they've got a bit of pace. Yeah, they've, they've put a couple of, of, uh, of, of uh, bigger girls on here, so they'd want to... Oh, there might be a little knock on here. On the 14. Well, they've got a chance now. Let's see if they can score. Moreau there, unfortunately. The Novas will get a good opportunity here. About 30 out. They're looking as if they don't know what to do. What to do. Yeah, a little bit disorganised here at the moment, but the hookers there, the front rowers are in there. They were set up, of course, for the kickoff. So uh, they've roof scrambled. They've got the fire. They've got their pack in there. So uh, <laughs> the under 14s girls action here from Field Five. Murray Carnival, the junior Murray Carnival. Novas now through their lock forward. She takes it. It's Paget. Paget goes for a strong run. Not passing the ball. First tackle. Coming in for a scoot. The fullback, I think. I stand up too flat. This back line here. So, but Ooh. they're going to swing it anyway to him. A wide pass comes out to the centre. It's Hook. Slightly disorganised and overs here. Uh, they need a dummy half. They eventually get one in there before the number 16 comes in. Met strongly in the tackle there. And then they go left to the lock forward again. Padgett, she's gone. Doing plenty of work through the middle of the field there. Met strongly in the tackle there. She shrugs off but has to play the ball on the spot. They go left through the dummy half. The number nine looking for an option out wide. It is the last tackle. She puts a kick in. But the Murray side through their halfback. They did a little halfback there. Sorts that one out as we see a run. Coming out of trouble here. A good strong run here from, from the winger. Gets in there. Does a bit of work. Now it's Morrell. Morrell with a strong run. Pumping the legs. Gets over the 30. Plays it on the on the 40 meter mark, and they come right right now through Moore. 
Moore strong in the tackle. Still going as Moore over the halfway line. Wonderful run. Makes 10 metres. Murray United hot on attack. Oh, a bit of disjointed, a uh, bit of lack of communication there, but the ball goes down, but it's picked up. Oh, by the number 14, Moreau again. They go wide through the halfback. Coming through the middle there is uh, uh, Wirahana with a strong run. Takes three Nova's players to bring her down. I think they've got too many on one side, the, uh, oh. the line Nova's. Oh, well taken. Definitely. Well taken there from the fullback with a head headgear on, under pressure. And Nova's now. What can they do? Can they get out of trouble with a few runs? A few. They pass the ball out wide here, and oh, the player wasn't expecting the ball there. A little bit of breakdown in communication, Uncle. Yeah, well, like I said, they're disorganised, and no one's taken over. They need someone to uh, actually take it over and show a bit of confidence and uh, get them going again. So, you know, we don't know whether they call. For well, it didn't look like she called for the ball, so she just threw it. And yeah, Harbs probably need to get in there and take control of this one, particularly in attack. Just get a little bit of shape about them and maybe push those forwards there, tell them, tell them where they need to go. That's for the Nova side, but it's the Murray United side now. Out of the scrum base here comes the second row, at number 12. She's over there. It's Wirahana, London Wirahana. And the referee points at the spot. Yeah, they're pretty mobile as... Uh uh, six set uh, board rock back they got there. Yeah, very versatile in uh, size and bit that good good mix of si size and speed as well. Yeah, you can tell they've been playing football longer than the other guys. Yeah. In the uh, Eileen Nova side. The, yeah. You know, the, you, they're no. pretty well structured really, aren't they? Yeah. We've seen that in the other under-14s clash, actually, which you called earlier on with uh, Nathan Blacklock. Um, I think there was, f out of the seven tries, five of them were from 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 that sort of play, 10 metres out from the scrum base. Yeah. So that maybe they've seen something from the earlier under-14s games. And uh, Novas, they couldn't react to it. Um, the centre was there, but just isolated. And as we mentioned, their young uh, London uh, Wirahana with that good mix of speed and also size was just too strong close to the line. Kick to come. She's nailed it. Ah, deadly kick there from Destiny Mears. And that takes a score out. 26 nil to the Murray United side over the Eileen Novas. Must be getting close to half time now. They're starting to walk up the girls. They need to uh, jog it up. Look yep. a bit lively. Yep, yep, get, get yeah, a little. Get a little bit of confidence, I think, going. Mm. Maybe a, chuck a short kick off in there or something. But they're trying hard, but they're just a little bit outclassed at the moment in this first half. But let's hope they keep their heads down and keep working hard for each other. Highly Novas, of course, uh, team predominantly from out west, out Billa Wheel away and a few of the other communities out that way. And they probably don't play a hell of a lot of footy, I'd imagine, in their competitions. But um, they're out here having a go. My brother and all be loving these Bulldogs jerseys. The Bulldogs type jerseys. <laughs> the mad Bulldog supporter. Here goes the Murray United side. No knock on there from um, the referee. Let's that one go. Interchange front rower there. Uh, having a ruck up there is... Um, I'll get that number for you. But uh, from dummy half, go for a bit of a scoot here. And we've got number 15. It's Flynn. Number 15 is going to play the ball here for the Murray United side. About 35 out from their own line. Before Morrow again, the number 14 winds up. With a big run, 20, 30 metres there. Wonderful run there. <laughs> That's what I said, they're pretty mobile. <laughs> Teresha uh, Moreau, what a run. And she might have hurt herself here, but... Uh, she might have hurt herself over cramp, but she's down. Yep, referee's all right. Yeah, referee's going to pull this one up here. Um, after that wonderful run, it was good, a good 25 metres, 20, 25 metres, Uncle. She was motoring too. Marrow, so it looks like a little lower leg injury here, maybe an ankle or something like that, but uh, just wound up and just went for yeah. it, eh? Yeah, she showed all the enthusiasm in the world. That will get you everywhere, especially in footy. Yep, that's it, that's it. The medical staff out there, uh, check out there the, the, the young, uh, young lass out there, make sure everything's okay. Murray United well in control here, 20, 26 points to nil at the moment over the Eileen Novas. So 
wonderful to see uh, wonderful sights and sounds here coming out of the Junior Murray Carnival from uh, Albany Creek Crushers Junior Rugby League ground. Uh, wonderful facilities, Uncle. Uh, you Beautiful. know, you've got five fields here. Um, you know, you've got your indoor sports centre there and uh, plenty of parking. Um, and, yep. um, you know, a bit of... Bit, heaps a bit of, of shady trees. Yeah, heaps of shady trees over there. There's also an elders area as well for, for our elders as well so they can get there, a bit of a yarn, get a cup of tea, get some fluids into them. And, um, yeah, she's going to be helped off the field here is young Moreau. Tasharia. Moreau, the number 14, after making a very good run, about 25 metres all up, so... I copped a bit of weight on that ankle. She can't put too much weight on the ankle at the moment, but that's hopefully it's not uh, a carnival-ending injury. And you get swapped over by uh, the big number 21 here. <laughs> <Lana Monday. one laughs> so you got one uh, one prop forward going off. Uh, There's in been a few monos over yeah. the uh, carnival all through the week. Yes, yes, yes. And shout out to the to the latest OAM award recipient, of course, uh, uh, Balaed. Balaed. Uh, be floating around the traps there, um, signing autographs. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> too deadly. You'll hear him anyway. He's Myers now. Destiny Myers running through after that uh, small break in play. Destiny's had a wonderful run here, making 20 meters. She's going to play the, the ball here tw 10 meters out from the Nova's line. And it's the dummy half goes for a scoot number nine, swung around in the tackle. She's close. She's going to play the ball here. Last tackle. Monet's in a dummy half, and that's an easy. An easy barge over try there uh, for young... Uh, well, she didn't uh, even have to barge. All she had to do is reach out. <laughs> yes. Alenia, uh, Alina, sorry, Monet. We mentioned her before. That's uh, second of uh, two tries in this first half here for young uh, Alina Monet. And that uh, lead goes out to 30 nil here at halftime. The Murray United side in the under-14s game. That here little, uh, well little, in control. That little hooker. Zaria McGee, lucky she never scored. Then she uh, done the right thing. She seen the uh, the uh, second row for the other side walking back with the back towards you, so she ran towards you and nearly scored. Yeah, one of the uh, the cardinal sins is that turning your back on your own line there. Um, a um, little bit of a mistake there from the defensive side there. A little bit of attention to detail and the Murray United side. They were switched on to it and got the big second rower in there. And the rest was history. That's another try there. As we see, she's going to come attempt to convert her own uh, kick here is uh, young Monet, so we'll see how she goes. Oh. At least she had a crack. <laughs> she had a crack. Unfortunately, that one there, so uh, scores will remain. 30 points to nil to the Murray United side as we... Um, Must be close to half time. Yeah. Certainly well in control here. Close, uh, counting down um, a matter of seconds or minutes until halftime in this under-14s clash here out on field five. And um, we've, we've got the Murray United side well in control of this fixture here. They look a lot more well-organised, taking advantage of any half opportunities that they get. And you know, the only know they're having a go. Um, hopefully their second half, hopefully they can get in around the coach and coach can sort of, you know, rev them up a little bit and get them going. And they're certainly keen in representing... Having a dig, which is the main thing. Yeah, and having fun. I was just about to say, they kicked it to the wrong girl. Then <laughs> she's going to pick it up and bolt in the blind. Oh, no, they can't even keep, they can't keep her out of the game. She's well involved. Wonderful effort. Off the kickoff. They're back over the halfway line here through the center. It's Brianna Rebel. Keep an eye for this one as well. Uh, this this player here out in the centre is in the pink head guard. Channeled back well there. Uh, he needed one of the try scorers here. Uh, it's uh, Wirahana again on the right-hand side. She gets a ball out, out the back here to Mills. It's Laura Mills out on the right-hand side. And Laura, Laura Mills puts the head down. And she's over the line. She's over. She's got a try adjacent to the post. Oh, she too much pace there. What a run there from the centre. London Wirahana <laughs> out on the right-hand side. He got caught in a tackle there, popped a pass over the top there to Laura. Young Laura Mills out on the wing there. He stepped back on the inside. Laura and showed a clean pair of heels to the to the no, line there. Some pace. I might go a good way through the uh, this uh, 
carnival the way they're playing these guys. They've sort of been like they've been playing forever, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and different types of tries. You know, we, they, they're going through the middle with the, with their bigger players, but you know their their edge players are, are linking well out wide. So, you know, when you've got a tiring defensive line like the Novas are, who are doing a lot of defence, unfortunately, they're gonna they're gonna probably have you know a few bit of a scattered defensive line and. The yeah, Murray, uh, Murray United, so th they're taking full full advantage of that. Just need a couple more tacklers in the side there to to bunch up. They need to move up in one line so they don't break the line. Yep. And that's half time. That's successful there. So uh, score at half time, uh, thirty six points to nil here um, uh, to the Murray United side. They're well in control of this one here. This is um, the uh, 11 o'clock game from Field 5 you're listening to here, the Junior Murray Carnival. Well in control as the breeze kicks up. That's going to be Beautiful nice and breeze. handy for us uh, over the course of the, <laughs> the rest of the Junior Murray Carnival and also for the families. Look at the hill, the, the hill between uh, play, uh, sorry, uh, between Field two and, 2 and 3 is just packed in chockers and even this hill here, which is... Uh, Going, goes right from field five right down to the, um, I guess, the, 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 the northern side of, uh, of the Albany Creek Crushers Junior Rugby League ground. It's full of families and chairs and marquees and you know, lots, of, lots of young ones running around as well, enjoying the school holidays, but also enjoying Junior, junior Murray Carnival action here on this wonderful venue here out at uh, the Albany Creek Crushers Junior Rugby League ground. They play a little bit of everything out here, Uncle. A bit of touch footy, a bit of rugby. Yeah, yeah they're basketball, going all up there. But AFL and cricket over there, so. You'd have seen the AFLW being played here a couple of times with the Brisbane Lions. Yep, yep, deadly. This is um, this is an area in which, um, yeah, we must give the shout out too. I know we're, we're here for the rugby league, but uh, yep. the local AFL team in the grand final on the on the weekend, <laughs> on the Saturday there. So, good luck to the Brisbane Lions, and uh, they got a few uh, a few Indigenous boys in there as well, uh, which is good. So we wish those brothers all the best uh, down there at the G on Saturday. Down at the big G. And it's uh, the two interstate teams, Uncle. What do you make of that? The Sydney Sydney Swans up against the, the Brisbane. They, they should, should pack it out anyway. It should be deadly. Um, of course, two merger teams as well. Oh, sorry. Not merger teams. Uh, the, the, the Brisbane Lions and Fitzroy, of course, merged to form the, the Lions. And, of course, the Swannies, they were once uh, South South Melbourne Swans. But they relocated up to, uh, to Sydney Town many years ago. So there'd be a lot of old South... Melbourne. Uh, well, well, that's what they're calling there. it down there. <laughs> yeah, they it, yeah, they've adopted it. <laughs> South Melbourne versus the Fitzroy. <laughs> good on them. Because they've got no, team, <laughs> no teams in. <laughs> uh, good on them. Uh, but that's us. Uh, Murray, Murray Carnival here. The junior Murray Carnival, of course. So this is the under-14s game here. We've got the 11 o'clock game we're bringing to you here um, um, on the app. Whether you're listening to us on the app there, uh, um, if you're uh, supporting the Murray United side, um, they're well in control here. 36 points to nil over the uh, Eileen uh, um, Nova's side. Um, they're yet to, yet to trouble the scorers, but um, they're having a go. They're having a dig, Uncle. Yeah, well, I need to hold the ball a bit longer and uh, cut out the mistakes and uh, get someone going forward so they can back it up with the some of the backs coming around and scoring. So that's, yeah. that, that's what they need to do. Just spend a bit of time with the ball and, and, and hopefully down in the uh, the Murray United line, maybe, you know, they test their defence. Test their defence. Yeah, they just haven't been able to hold onto the ball and get any repeat sets or even get to their kicks, Uncle. They're just knocking on the ball, knocking the ball on in those early tackles, just, you know, straight away back into defensive. And plus they only got one uh, reserve for the look of it. Yeah. yeah Which I think going to uh, be hard for anyone. They mentioned there that a few of the girls are, are going to miss the first game because they're arriving um, as well, travelling in um, from out west. So they're going to they're, they're going to have a full full complement of of players uh, to pick from for their second game. Yes, I found that out the other day in the uh, opens. Uh, one team had one reserve, and uh, <laughs> yeah, well then they were walking. They were yeah. up against a pretty flash team too. That yep. so they you know paid for it in the end, and uh, I think they'd uh, never turned up next day. They had to forfeit mm. because mm. the main player who was in the team, she got injured too, so that was the end of that. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so you need some reserves on, yeah. on a day like that. Mm. Carnival It's been too. happening over the last week, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's unlimited interchange, but you you know, you know need to keep your players rotating and keep them as fresh as possible. Can't do not, nothing much about injuries, of course, and we're hoping that we see young um, uh, Moreau, young uh, Tishana, to Shania Moreau, uh, yep. 14 for the Murray, Murray Sochi, after a wonderful run. 
she hurt herself and um, hopefully she, she's able to make it back. Um, well, I've got everything over there. They've got the uh, the uh, medical crew around the corner there. Look at her ankle and yep. you know, whatever it is, and I'll put her in good stead. Mm. She don't she don't have to drive all the way to the hospital in the back of the ambulance. Yep, yep, yep. We don't want that. Yes. Shout out to all of those organisers as well, of course. Uh, spearheaded by um, Ian and Nicole and and all of the other mobs from the Arthur Beatson Foundation, of course. The referees have called them onto the paddock here, trying to keep keep the uh, the starting time spot on. It's 11 uh, 11:30, so uh, the referees are out there for this second half. As mentioned, uh, Murray United well in control. Some of their um, stars have been shining. Uh, Brianna Rebel, of course, Tasman McQueer, um, um, London uh, Wirahana has been really really good. The number 12. Scored a couple of tries and been heavily involved, um, and also uh, the big interchange forward there, uh, Al Alania Monet as well, uh, for the Murray Murray United side in the 21 jersey. She's been exceptional. I will be back into it here on field five and the girls under 14. Uh, the Eileen Navis side against the Murray United who are leading 36 nil and of course the Eileen Navis it's to kick off shortish kick off there um, from the Nova side uh, picked up well there by the uh, head guard player I think that's a the center there uh, Brianna Rebel I'll play the ball there um, to this uh, front rower. He gets a full head of steam up here, does the front rower. Keeps her legs pumping. Wonderful run. 10, 10, 10, 12 metres run there from uh, young Grace Webb. They spot something on the right-hand side here. This is going to get the number of that player there. Another big run. Making 20 metres there. It's the number 20. We don't have a number, but, uh, yep. We'll, uh, endeavor we to have get a that. number, but not a name. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have a name. <laughs> Uh, the five she's, going, she's going well too. Every time she gets the ball, it takes about four people to pull, uh, four uh, players to pull it down. Yeah, very strong player. They come left here through the halfback. They go interchange player here, number 15. Gets it back to the fullback, Destiny Mears. Already scored a try. She swings out of the tackle there. And uh, the referee, uh, we're going to have a bit of a look and see what he's adjudicated there. Nobody says go back and play the ball in the last tackle. They go down the left-hand side. And they could be over. We're going to have a bit of a look-see here. The touchy and the ref, a little bit of a conference. And no, she's been held up. Fifth and last. Fifth and last tackle over the line there. So wonderful defensive set there from the Novas to start this second half. They've, they've repelled the Murray United side there when it looked like they were going to dive over there. Wonderful effort there on defense. Showing a bit of defensive grit there to start this second half. Too deadly. So they're going to hold the ball now and get themselves out of there, get a bit of go forward. Nova's now doing their best. They're swing, swinging it wide, two passes wide, trying to find a gap to try to go forward, but you know they're they're just struggling at the moment to get off their own uh, off their own line here. They're going to need somebody to take the initiative. Late in the tackle count. What have the Novas got? What are they going to do? They're going to work to a kick. Got the winger coming in for some work here. Strong defense there from Mills. Pushes uh, the player back there, and she's actually pushed her back into the, uh, in, uh, goal. Into the in goal. Wonderful effort there. Laura Mills, the, uh, the, the, the winger. And also combining there with uh, with number 20 there. We don't have a number, of course, but uh, she has been playing really well. The front rower there. They combine to push uh, the uh, Novas player over uh, the, the try line there. And they're going to have to do a drop out here. And maybe that's their way to get out of this uh, particular situation that they're in. Let's see what they can do. It's a short, it's a grub. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grub. <laughs> I think she punted it. <laughs> yeah, never, never hit the ground. I think she just hit a foot. Ah, uh, yeah. So they get a penalty right in front of you. Or the Murray United side. Uh, we've got the dummy half there. It's uh, McGee, I think, going to tap the ball. They're going for the big points. Get the ball off there to Webb. Uh, sorry, it's Mog, number eight. The big front rower there. 
Going to play the ball directly in front of the sticks, and there's that number 20. Oh, I think they held her up. She's close. The referee says she's close, but she's not over. Ball comes out of the half back here. Brings Monet back through, back through, and Monet under the post. She was moving that fast, and she's that big. Actually, no one had a go to. Wonderful run there it was Tasma Maquira. She uh, spotted a gap out wide, but then Monet said, no, give it to me back up on the inside of your old crossover under the post for the high diddle diddle. They get a three, they get a third third try for the day there for Monet. has been a real standout in this game so far, the big uh, interchange front rower. Yeah, well, they're a big side, and like I said, they're pretty mobile too, and they, <laughs> and they all know what their job is. Mm -hmm. And like they're pretty structured, so uh, mm. Mm. They go, I reckon they'll go a fair way in, the, in this competition in number 14s. And, and hungry, you know, because they, they turned the ball over there. They pushed uh, the young girl over the, the dead ball line. They had the drop out, which, which was, uh, didn't go too well, and then they set it up nicely. Yep. For a try under the post with this conversion as Young Destiny converted that one. Wonderful. Yeah, early stages here. Murray United picking up where they left the first half off. They scoot out to a 42 points. It's a nil lead here over the Eileen Nova side. She had to have half the points. Destiny Myers. Destiny has been fantastic. We, we spoke with the coach uh, yeah. earlier on and um, <coughs> a few representative players in this team as well. Um, uh, Queensland representative players. I'm in the under 14 division. Destiny Myers is one of them. Brianna Rebel is another one. Tasma McQuay is another one. Grace Webb is another one. Um, uh, Harper Moore is another one. The 18. Um, which we saw, um, and also, um, yeah, Alania Monet. So um, various representative players within that side. So very real, well-drilled side. Let's see what the Novas can do here with a good kick-off. The ball goes out here. Taken by Flynn out on that far side. Makes five metres. Ends it up just shy of half, halfway mark before the number nine scoots out there. It's McGee. Gets the ball back, back to the 15. The 15 and the 9 combined. Two tackles to make 20 metres. Bring the ball right out to his centre field here. The ball oh, comes out there. That. What's the referee rule there, Uncle? A strip Great kick. Must have been a strip. Which is a no-no, especially in your own half. Trying all they can, the Novas there. Even um, a couple of players in a tackle there. My ball might have come out, but it was a deemed a strip. And we've got this uh, number 20 here taking the ruck up. She's been really busy throughout this game, hasn't she, Uncle? And catches a... Mo oh, there's a high tackle there, but... Oh, another 10 metres, 15 metre gain there. Maybe a little bit of frustration coming in, maybe. A little bit of... Push and shove. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of push and shove. We certainly saw a bit of that on the weekend, but let's hope it's not here at the Junior Murray Carnival, of course. She goes again, number 20. She says, give me the ball, I'll have another go. Straight through the middle, and she's through the first line. She's through the second, and she's going to score. Ran it through about five. We're going we're gonna to need to get a number here for number, uh, a name for this number 20. She's, she's had a storming game. And pretty much uh, a one-man act, a one, one girl act, if you like, over there. Yeah, Up. well, I went in the numbers, it went from 19 to 21, and then we've got 20. And she's been very, very active. Got the penalty, of course, and said, hey, give it to me. I want to have another ruck here. and Makes another 10 metres and carries, I think it was the fullback she carried over the line there. They extend this one out. 44 points to nil so far. Murray United well in control. Destiny Me is lining up this kick, which is probably about 15 metres out, just to the left of the post. Yeah, what number 20, 21, 29 is. Find out what number 20's name is. Let's get some clarification on that number 20. As his kick is guided through by Destiny Myers. Or Mears that takes the score to the Murray, uh, Murray United. Well in control Grace here. Webb. Grace Webb is number 20. Okay, number 20 and not number 10. So, okay, a bit of a change up there, but... Uh, we certainly called Grace Webb a few times there. Yes. <laughs> and that takes us got a 46 points to nil to the Murray United side. Well in control, Uncle, here in this under-14s game. And what do you make of the under-14s level? Obviously, they're still learning a few of the games. You've got uh, a bit of the fundamentals of the game, but you've also got some, some who have developed, and you can cl clearly see that they've probably played 
um, eights, tens, twelves now into into the forties. Yeah, that's right. You can see this. Uh, the the uh, Eileen Navis has been just put together, but these other side they've been coached well. They uh, know what their jobs are, and they certainly know how to play the game. So. And there's McGee now taking a run. Um, the dummy half, she's not afraid, not afraid to, to, to take a, a ruck up there is uh, young uh, Zahara McGee. And um, as is this player here, Haley Finn. The re replacement, I don't know where she's playing, Haley, but she's certainly having a dig. Before the front rower here winds up here. The big front rower right through the middle of the pack. Makes 10, 12 metres here. Wonderful run there uh, from Al Alicia Mogg. Alicia Mogg. And the winger coming in for some work now. Spots a gap there. It's Paige, young, um, young Angel Paige coming in there for a bit of work, helping out the forwards there. Makes 10 metres herself. And here we go. Um, and that's that player there, Grace Grace Webb, yeah? Yep. Yeah, so Grace Webb has had a wonderful game. Sensational game. Makes 10 metres there. Plays the ball back. Ball comes out to the fullback now, Destiny Mears. Destiny off the right foot. She swings out of the tackle, gets past the fullback and carries the fullback over the line. Wonderful effort there from Destiny Mears. She crosses for another try to the Murray United side and they, they reach a cool half century with that try there. Sensational effort. Solo effort there from Destiny Mears. And she's been in everything, Uncle, today, young Destiny. Oh, she must have uh, over three quarters worth of points anyway from the game. She scored a few tries, kicks the goals, and uh, she got a bit of pace too. So she's a fantastic fullback, yeah. picked in the right position, and plays like a fullback. Yeah, certainly a player that uh, to watch that one. Uh, and I like the way that they're they're setting it up with their forwards. They're allowing their forwards to go forward first, make the ground, get get build the foundation for us. And and young uh, McCua, uh, McCure, uh, young Tasma there. Um, in the halves, she's getting involved um, as well. Um, and, and, of course, Mia's chiming in. And your, your fullback these days, play like your 5'8", anyway, really. Right. Uh, yep. um, and she's got that good mix of uh, speed and also size. Sometimes they don't have to uh, swing the ball out wide for the backs because the uh, forwards are going that far forward. It's, uh, it's like pretty mobile they are and they're hard to pull down. And, uh, like I said, they'll go a long way in this carnival by the, just by looking at this game. Yeah, they look well drilled. Good mix, good size. Got some speedy, speedy players who in and around the ruck area. We're going to ask a lot of questions of a lot of these sides. And she's got another goal. Mears steers that one through, converts her own try, and she's going to come off for a well-deserved rest. Is young Destiny? It's a long carnival. She's obviously one of their guns. So, with a big lead up, they've decided to put the cue in the rack and give a bit of a, a bit of an early mark in this one here. Under 14's game here, the 11 o'clock game coming to you, of course, here from the Albany Creek Crushers Junior Rugby League ground. Out in, of course, no Albany Creek in the north part, northern part of Brizzy. Wonderful day out there. Not a not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Mobs everywhere, flooding into the ground. Families and uncles and aunties and a few elders floating around, which is deadly. Here goes the Nova side with a kickoff. They're struggling a little bit here. 52 points down at the moment to the Murray United side. That's the sort of defence they need the ears all the way out and move up. Yep. There we go, young Webb here. Grace Webb has been solid all day long in the number 20 jersey. And he's the other player we spoke about before. Harper Moore, the 18. She makes 10 metres. The player down there, so the ref's going to pull this one up. Check out the young uh, young lass out there. We've got our sports trainer and the league safe mob there. Keep an eye out there. Might have copped a bit of a, um, a hip or something on the way through there, the young one. A wonderful run there from um, uh, from Harper Moore. Slicing through, made 10 metres, and unfortunately the Nova's player might have... Well, I hope it's not the little hooker because she's, a, she's the best tackle on that side, so I hope she's all right. Yeah, I can't see the number, but... She's certainly making it, attempting to make the tackle. Like you said, she's she's been she's been putting her body on the line there. She's sitting off, so she might have copped a bit of a stinger to the shoulder there. Good on the referees. They're putting the water there too. The referees and the linesmen taking the <laughs> taking the water in there. They've probably got four or five games up their sleeves. They're there. thinking, Lee Murray's a mad playing <laughs> football in this league. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it's real, real Murray footy, definitely. Uh, she looks like she's been cleared to play there, and um, I think it was the halfback there, number seven. Is it number seven? Yeah, yeah. young Mariah Parsons. She's shrugged that one off a little bit of, a little bit of a drink, and she's good to go. We go Mills now, scooting out of dummy half. It's young Laura Mills here. The winger coming in for some work, makes 10 metres for the Murray United side. They're well in control here. 52 points to nil over Eileen Novas. And it's Monet as well with a strong buffeting run. Monet, she's over the 10, she's over the 5. She steps back inside and she's going to score under the post. Young Alinea Monet, who's been a star today in the under-14 side for the Murray, Murray United side. What a run, Uncle. Yeah, she qualified for under-16s. <laughs> She just mowed down them, didn't she? Just pushed them out of the road. Pushed them out of the way. A, a nice step back on the inside, beat the fullback. And that's what you want from your edge back rowers is to patrol the right-hand side where she's operating. And she's been a handful all day long. And if they're not going forward, they'd probably throw them all on there because there's another couple more sitting on the sideline that uh, actually in that team. Yeah. Uh, big and mobile and fast. That takes the score to the Murray United side. 56 points to nil with the kick to come. A different kicker now. Tasma. Yeah, Tasma. Young, young Mears has got a bit of an early mark. So. Oh, she's so proud of herself. She's <laughs> good on you, girl. That's a bit surprised as <laughs> you. Uh, young Tasma Maquira. 52 points to nil, Murray United. Well in control here. This under-14s clash coming to you uh, on the QMC app, of course, um, here at uh, Albany Creek Crushers Junior Rugby League ground. Uh, this, is, this is the 11 o'clock game. Oh, they're still jogging up, which is the main thing. Yeah, they're having a dig, and uh, the coach would have spoken about that at halftime. It's, it's don't worry about the scoreboard, just let's keep turning up, let's keep representing. And For all the players there, what have they got to it? About eight players, they're probably all their best players. But it, yeah, a couple just uh, running a little bit late. Um, so not a bad kickoff there. <laughs> yeah, picked up by that player there, London. Wirahana has been very, very good today. He scored a couple of tries and strong run up to the halfway line. It's going to pay it probably about two metres short of the halfway. They go over the halfway line. Through the big front rower here, it's number 25. It's uh, uh, Indiana uh, Filipani. So pull on the pull it in. Sensational run. Young, young McGee there as well. Oh, she's knocked it on at the end, but she has in mind um, having a, a good little a run too. out of dummy half. Is young Zahara McGee. Little knock on though on that occasion. So the Novas they get a chance. See what they can do. They can just hold the ball. Well, it's too flat. They need to get a bit of pace up if they need to rock themselves out of there. Need, well, they need to barge themselves out of there, actually. And just jogging up like mm. that's not going to do it. Yep. L like a little bit of depth. Maybe even get a, a halfback in there or a 5'8 to pivot. That's better. That better going. Far side there. It looks like the centre there. It looks like hook it was. Um, taking the run out there. Difficult to see these white numbers with the white jerseys, but we'll do our best. She's been told to go back, play the ball here, and... Uh, 5-8 gets in there. This is a little bit better. Bit of expansive move, but then hit strongly in the tackle there. The Novas girls trying to do their best to get out of uh, their danger area. Push back in the tackle there. The kick comes, but it's uh, knocked on a dummy half there. Nothing going right here for the Novas. They're trying hard, but they're just unable to get out of that red zone. Or that red area. Yeah, that's need someone on there to lead them along. Need a leader in there to tell them what to do and where to go and uh, yep. how to do it. Yep. But uh, yeah, right now you can see that they are obviously a bit unorganised. Mm. The number six there, Stanley, she was trying to get in uh, in there in a one-off, uh, like a pivot roll, trying to get their forwards to go forward. Speaking of forwards going forward, this is Monet. Monet with a strong run. She's pushing off. Players left, right and centre. Before being taken down five metres out from the Nova's line. And he goes, it's uh, it's it's young uh, Filipane. <laughs> She's gone over the 25 Indiana, Ali Filipane. She's gone one, two, carried one over the line. 
close to the line, unstoppable. Her Indian. name is Indiana Ali Philippine Tua. Tahua. Tahua. Yeah. Philippine Tahua. Yep. Keep an eye on that one. Close to the line. Unstoppable. Just about unstoppable. Throwing players off left, right, and centre. Scores over there adjacent to the post. And real smart play from the, from, from the Murray United. On the back of a scrum. High percentage play. A couple of forwards through the middle. Mornay and then big Filipane Tua. She goes over. Yeah, very, well, very like, economical, right? Like I said, they don't have to go wide. <laughs> yeah. Just straight, go straight up the middle. Straight up the middle. It's working for you. Don't deviate from it. That, that takes the score out to... Uh, it's, it's in the 60s now, Uncle. So he's kicked another goal. The uh, little number seven, Tasma. 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 Tasma Maguire there takes a score to Murray uh, United, 64. Eileen Over's yet to, to trouble the scorers. Bit of regrouping there. See if they can hold them down over this uh, way this time. Mm -hmm. Eileen Over, so from out west, through the communities out west, around Billowheeler Way, so the girls probably not, have not much uh, regular rugby league competition, but they're certainly having a dig. We're in sporting the bit of a Broncos style jerseys and shorts. Uh, uh, sorry, a Bulldogs jerseys and shorts. Uh. I just about say you colourblind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> colourblind. In um, the Murray United side, of course, in the famous red, black, and yellow with the grey through the top. Um, well in control of this uh, under 14s fixture coming to you on field five. All five fields in operation, of course, for this Junior Murray Carnival. That's a better kick off. Right down the middle, but kicked it off to the try scorer. She's going to wind it up here. Filipane, two a strong run. It takes two, three, four of them there to bring her down. She's going to play the, the ball 40 out from her own line. And he goes, uh, uh, we're a Hana, London, we're a Hana. What a run, 20, 30 metres. That it gets the ball off there to McQuire, uh, McCure, McQuire, McGuire. McGuire, Young Tasma. She backs up London. We're a Hana. She's going to score a try of her own from the kickoff. Yeah, she put herself in the right place. Call for the ball and away she went. Wonderful backing up there from the halfback, as all good halfbacks do. Tasma Maguire, she has, she's a, is able to score a, uh, a try of her own there, backing up uh, uh, We're a Hana, who's been really, really good today. The, the edge back rower there, the number 12. She steamed onto the pass, and she made 30 metres herself. Yeah, she and looked like she could play centre too. <laughs> a bit of pace behind her. Yep, and had the presence to turn around and have a look um, and pick up her uh, a halfback, who was, as all good halfbacks do, trailing through. She was able to get a meat pie off the back of a very, very good run there. Destiny's back on. She's back on. Oh, just a bit to the right of the um, upright. Just a bit right to the upright there uh, for young Destiny Mears. She got the right style and the and the right height there for her age, under 14, which is pretty good. Yep, got yep, great yep. kick. Very well drilled. They got good size, good mix of, of size and also speed. Speed through the middle there. We've seen uh, uh, the likes of um, uh, uh, Gee, uh, McGee, sorry, um, um, uh, McKean and also uh, Maguire through the middle along with Destiny Myers. And when they're not been patrolling through the middle and carving through the middle, it's been their forwards. The likes of uh, Filipani, Tua, and of course uh, Mornay. Just been unable to, to handle those, that good mix of, of speed, size, and th that this Murray United side possess and uh, knock back there off the kickoff. Can't get her out of the game is uh, young London Wirihana. Wirihana, sorry. She's going to play the ball. And he gets it off here to one of the try scorers here, Filipane Tua. Another 10 metre run. <laughs> How many in there? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Almost half the side in there to take uh, the big uh, front rower down. Another steaming front rower on. Steams onto the ball here. It's, it's Mog, the number eight jersey. 
There's a bit of a, uh, yep, that's it. That's the uh, full-time siren there, so it's this one's come to an end. Six yep, great game. Dominant performance here by the from Murray the, United side. From the Murray United side, and like I said, they'll go, well, they've got to go forward, and that's what you need, and uh, they certainly got the size, the mobility, and, uh, and the skill to go a long way in this carnival, so I think they will. And it's great. So the, uh, the other side, the uh, lean neighbours, just need a bit, uh, someone on there to show them way, the way around the, around the park. They look a little bit unorganised, and uh, of course you can see that they not many of them played football before, or well, they got some ID, but not really in the way that the other uh, Murray United. They were pretty skilled in what they were doing and knew their job and put it to good use. Thanks for the listeners tuning in here for uh, for this under-14s clash. Of course, Murray United, too good, um, up around 68 points to nil there. But the girls getting together, taking a photo together and, um, you know, showing good sportsmanship uh, as well. Um, and it's, it's, it's sometimes it's not about the results. It's about, you know, meeting each other, having a yarn about where you mob are from and, and coming together and, um, in a positive, positive fashion. Um, and that'll be it for us here from uh, for this game here, um, Wheel Five. Yep. We're welcoming uh, the, the brothers here to take over this one here. But um, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you a little bit later on. <laughs>